Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. This is July the 24th, 2017 at about 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time and I wanted to do a quick review of my Lear 180 fiberglass camper top. It's on a Dodge Ram 2017 or Ram 2017 Ram 1500 pickup. That's a six cylinder, eight speed automatic pickup. And I want to review the camper top itself. First of all, I want to tell you this, it doesn't have any leaks. In other words, uh, we've, I've been through some heavy rains and there are no leaks around the windows at all. And that's very good. Uh, number two, uh, it's, the fit is very good on the bed of the truck. I like that. And the people that installed it, uh, installed it using some very good little clamps that are they're actually drilled through, and there's a nut here on top, and then a fastener on the bottom. I covered them with some uh, uh, pipe wrap looking stuff to keep, because the bolt comes down about to about right here. I'm sure you could cut it off and make it shorter, but I didn't. Now also on the inside, mine, has, mine came with the carpeted uh, interior, which I believe is well worth the money because it re reduces moisture buildup. Also, it's a little soundproofing, and also uh, it's a good insulation when the sun shines directly down on the camper top and you're in it. Because I've been camping in this truck for seven weeks, and uh, I had no issues with the camper top whatsoever. Uh, the, t the lift window here, this window right here, is easy up, easy down. It's got a, which is good, it's got a locking, closing deal here and one on the other side rather than just one in the middle it's got one on each side which which actually provides a little bit more secure fit so you don't get any leaks and uh, something else i'll show you now this is what i've set up for my camper top i've got these steps these are rubber made two step and also you'll need this pad because when you put your knee down on the tailgate it doesn't feel very good and I'm 72 years old and I was crawling in and out of this thing for seven weeks. But uh, all in all, I would give it a nine or even higher. It, since it doesn't leak, it accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. And um, as far as camping in it, uh, the 180 gives you about four inches more headroom than the one that is level with the cab. Is that an advantage? Yes, very much so if you're gonna be inside of it or if you're going to haul items that stand up very tall. Uh, as far as uh, <clears throat> this carpet is concerned, right here, uh, this stuff right here, you can, you, there is, I used Velcro tape, or little stickers, actually I'll show you. I've got a knife up here that I had the whole time, and it's been in that position the whole time. Why doesn't it fall off? I'll show you this little Velcro looking stuff, if you can see which side that is, that holds that on there very securely. And why do I have it there? I don't know, I guess I feel like I need it. But anyway, it works real good. I got some toothpicks stuck in there because I, I was sleeping with my head up on this end and sometimes I'd have a snack and I could use that to uh, clean my teeth. Uh, but anyway, as to locking, as to closing the door from the inside, I've had several questions about that. You know, all you got to do is just pull this out of the way. And let me just put it up here right now. And all you have to do is reach. I can reach the tailgate, lift it up easily, close the tailgate, okay? And as far as the rear window of the camper top, all I do is just reach up, pull the thing down, and it closes, okay? No problem. Now, as far as opening and closing it from the inside, what I've done is, when you close this handle on this side over here, I've got a little piece of wood that I cut that fits right in here, and that way, that cannot be opened from the outside. And there's one on each side. See, there's another little piece of wood over there, and you secure both of those handles with that little piece of wood and the tailgate or the camper top 
thing cannot be opened from the outside because it is secured and it works. And then to open it, you just push it up and those little gas things there, these little things here, take it right on up. So then you just open the tailgate like so and let it go down like that. Put the pad on it like this and you're good to climb out, okay? So, do I like the Lear 180 camper top? Yeah, I do. I think it's great. It works for me, folks. And I know this video, you're going to see a lot of crazy things because I've got it in my hand. But, the Lear 180 camper top, the, the difference between this one and some of the other ones is this little part right here. Some of them are level with the cab right here, okay? This one has a 4-inch rise, all right? right there and that gives you some additional headroom on the inside and I also think that it looks pretty good I do I like the look of it and another thing the gas mileage did not change at all some people will tell you that it will improve your gas mileage others tell you that it will decrease your gas mileage it weighs about 200 pounds thereabouts and so you would think it would decrease your miles per gallon but it doesn't because it, it adds a little more aerodynamic value to the vehicle, I guess. Whatever, my, my miles per gallon did not change. Up or down. But anyway, so overall, for those of you that are looking for a camper top, and I know there's several different styles and types, this one is very well built. The fiberglass is very heavy duty. I mean, it's no, it's no cheapy, okay? I mean, it's, this one cost me... I believe it was $1,600 installed, including sales tax, and that included the carpeted interior. There's also, it also has a LED uh, brake light up here that they hook up, which is nice. And uh, now you, I didn't get the boot, you know, between the drivers, between the cab and the camper top. I didn't need it because I don't have a sliding window in my pickup. And one of the issues they said that you might have would be that you it'd be hard to clean the windows the rear window of the cab of the truck and the window of the uh, camper top in here okay because you can't get in there right you can't get in there to do it well I have to tell you this the windows clean right now and I've had it for three months so yeah for about three months and uh, yeah it's fine I, that's not a, that's a that's an imaginary problem and there are a lot of the 